Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. I'm sorry, right now. Hello, everyone. 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 Hello, everyone.
it's better to cooperate than to fight each other. And frankly, we have some pretty good neighbors in this neighborhood, but then again, there are good folks up here. Not a whole lot of good activists in Keene, but that's for another subject, another video. But there are good activists up here, just not very many of them in Keene. Um, also, want to thank, I hope you don't mind me mentioning your name. I have don't have glasses right now so CJ McK McKinney CJ McKinney McKinney I'm uh, sorry I don't I'm not trying to get it wrong I just one I can't I just can't see very well uh, I yeah you know, I need new glasses um, I don't think those are the only guns in the house because they're not um, we also have communications equipment. But you live way out there on the other side of the country, thankfully. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't want you living in this, this area. Or when you make it to the SHTF. Yeah, I don't think you, yeah, you just... I, I have a feeling your before before yeah. I have a feeling your wife and your followers would take care of you. <laughs> they would be taken from you, and then they would cooperate with people. We just send him up to Grafton. Oh yeah. Oh, those people up there wouldn't like you. Even the native New Hampshireites who live there wouldn't put up with you. <sighs> um. I mean, come on, guy. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, but, uh, CJ, can I just call you CJ? I don't mean any dis disrespect or anything here. CJ, thank you for putting one of my videos on your blog. I appreciate that. I deeply appreciate it. Uh, I, I, I will say this. You know, we don't sit here and advertise everything we do or everything we have or don't have. We don't advertise everything we need or want uh, because that's not a good idea because then you will find idiots like like this Tyler Smith and by the way somebody who went to school with him commented on my video saying he was an idiot back then too and like I said I knew a guy back in San Antonio Texas who was just like this guy but I'm like What is wrong with humanity? There is something seriously wrong with humanity when we have so many people like that running around. Well, let me say it. Also, my father was a soldier. My father was a career soldier. My wife's father had been a soldier during the war. When I say the war, I mean World War II. That's how old we are. My father served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. My father started off in the infantry. So I have that background. I've lived on three continents. So I have that background. I have that experience. Your father could have packed up a wounded soldier if he had to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like... Enough to get him to the hospital, you know. Yeah. One piece. I'm like... And, and um, my wife's dad taught her how to shoot, so... Uh, Tyler Smith, you better stay the hell away from us. <laughs> I seriously doubt you could even make it over here. Like that one person was saying, you are way out of shape, bud. I mean, I may have, we both may have health issues, but I bet we can move faster than you. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want you to, like, see all, all this negativity about you and then decide to kill yourself or something that would be really bad but I, 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 I mean what can I say you know what can I say about you I mean you, you say you only have six months six months worth of uh, supplies really well thanks for letting me know because you know, if you were over here and I knew that and you tried to raid us, of course, that raid wouldn't wouldn't last too long and then we'd go and take your stuff. 
and we would share it with people we'd share it with our neighbors and um, I know some of our neighbors are pretty good shots one of our neighbors over here he's a, he's a hunter or he used to be I'm not a hunter but I've uh, one used to be a marine oh this guy over here oh yeah our neighbor back back down here but we're not gonna say exactly who that is um, and this guy over here that used to be a hunter I mean I'm sure he could still hunt he just <laughs> doesn't do it you know um, the people who live back here they hunt they hunt bear and they hunt deer um, I'm like I said I'm not a hunter but I, I shot targets more than a few targets um, also shot in the water <laughs> trying to Whoops. Trying to kill a fish. <laughs> well, didn't work. <laughs> um, that was an experiment. Yeah, it was an experiment. And, and uh, archery, you know, I, I took archery when I was younger uh, during a, a summer course. Uh, but um, uh, what kind of communications equipment do you have, Tyler? None. See Tyler Smith. You remind me of that guy I knew back in Texas. I have to turn this fan on. It's kind of warm. Um, you would think that a survival course was what he took out in California. We're going to chase you through the woods and we're going to catch you and we're going to tie you to a tree. That's not survival training. But you would think that would be survival training. Survival training would teach you how to evade, would teach you how to survive out there, teach camouflage, all sorts of things, and I don't think you have the slightest freaking idea about anything. If my wife got pregnant, which would be nice, but it would also be a miracle, um, <laughs> I have a feeling she would take the 40 and she would point it at me if I tried to give her a C-section do a c-section I don't think she would put up with that from me so uh, my wife has smarts your wife I don't know you know we have first aid equipment and whatnot but you know I also know and understand that I'm not qualified to do certain things so there <coughs> are certain things I just would not do because I couldn't do them there are other things I would only do in an emergency there are other things that I would do only in an emergency with instruction from somebody who actually knew what to do I have books yeah I have books I've read books but that ain't the same as actually doing man Okay, it's not the freaking same. You gotta practice. Yeah, and, um, you know, it, I could go to a, um, to a hospital. You know, I could stand in or sit in and watch surgery. That's still not <laughs> the same as actually doing it. You'd probably pass out. <laughs> yeah, I probably would. Drop a blood <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, CJ, thank you for including my video. Uh, Tyler, Smith, Tyler Smith, get a brain, okay? Get a freaking brain. Get out there and start running every day. Do push-ups, do pull-ups, do sit-ups. Why don't you take some martial arts classes? Oh, but you probably think you already know how to do all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, I took Kempo, American Kempo. I took Wing Chun, took Taekwondo, which was a joke. Um, in high school, I took wrestling. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, Taekwondo isn't uh, doesn't really have messed. Yeah. Um, Messy. Uh, modern Arnis, I've done that. So uh, Tyler Smith, the thing is, you wouldn't get close enough for me to do any of that to you because I'd shoot you at a thousand yards. Boy, oh boy, I tell you what, you're getting some bad press, and I hope you learn something from it. But I think you have a big ego, and you won't learn. 
green, white and gold.